Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another Photoshop in 5. Today we're talking background. Sometimes you have the perfect subject in the foreground, but the background just isn't working. Whether it's switching up the sky, changing the colors, or completely replacing with something else entirely, today I'll show you 5 different ways on how to overhaul that background within 5 minutes. So let's not waste time and get going. Starting with a very specific but also very helpful tool, we have the sky replacement. So for that, just forget your selection tools and simply click on edit in the toolbar, scroll halfway down to sky replacement. Just as the name imply, if you ever have a picture, let's say like this one of me in a previous vacation, where you feel the sky could use a little oomph, Photoshop lets you do just that. There's a plenty of selections of skies that you can use and you can import even more. And if you are feeling fancy, you can also add some adjustment layers on top to make the whole thing come together. For background replacement number two, we have removing the background entirely and replacing it with a flat color. For this, we are using the object selection tool to select myself. And then with the quick selection tool, we are selecting the little spots that were missed out, like my finger or removing spots like the extra little corner there of my head. Then we can simply cut myself and paste it and using the paint bucket tool or the gradient tool, dropping an entirely new color or gradient behind that. If you decide to add some text on top, bam, now you've got yourself one of those very traditional YouTube eye-catching thumbnails. Or number three, you can replace your background with anything now that you know how to remove your background. In this case, for example, if you're a YouTuber talking about games, you can just bring an image of that game, drop it in. And if you feel that the image in the background is competing with you and the words a little too much, just go on filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and control the blur to push it further behind a little bit more. And speaking of blur, background tip number four, you can increase the blur to give that depth of field look to any of your other pictures. By starting with the same process of using the object selection tool and selecting yourself or whatever else you may need, using quick selection to clean up the process, and then copying and pasting it on a new layer. Now, you could simply just throw some blur on the layer beneath that has the background, but you'll see this weird glow happening here, and that is because the object is still within the layer below and it's bleeding out as you blur it. The way to fix that is, let's not blur it quite yet, let's go back with Ctrl Z, and instead, let's use the Content Aware Field tool. For that, we're gonna select the whole area that I'm at, and then we're gonna go into Added Content Aware Fill, and we're just gonna paint out all the areas that we want to be sample, press OK, and you'll see that the whole background was filled in. Now, it's not perfectly filled in, but it doesn't really matter because we're about to blur it anyways. Now we've got a pretty consistent background that I can move myself even left and right. For final background tip number five, you can now adjust that background with some color layers and completely change the color of your background. The cool part is, all these tips can be mixed and matched and stacked on top of each other. But I really wanna highlight the object selection tool. You can see even here how it really even captured the nuances of my hair, which sometimes can be quite tricky to do by hand. So that's a really big time saver. Such a time saver that I used it a couple times and was able to show you five different ways to replace your background today within five minutes. And these five different tips that you've seen today can all be combined and mixed and matched and used for any sort of object in the foreground that you want to pick away and change the background of. Take a look. For example, you can easily turn this indoor photo shoot into an outdoor photo shoot by removing and swapping that background out and with some adjustment layers on top. Or you can do the opposite and turn this outside photo shoot into an internal one with a cleaner background that's perfect to be used in some sort of e-commerce. So that's it. Now, backgrounds will be not an impediment for you. You can switch it up however you like. Don't forget to look at the other Photoshop and Pi videos and let us know below what kind of tips and tricks you'd like to see us cover next. See you next time.